I'm tired of wearing these face masks. Aren't y'all? They make my skin itchy. They give me extra acne. I get all sweaty underneath. When you burp, sometimes it doesn't smell very good. Don't wear these things after drinking coffee because if you burp, it will smell the worst. <laughs> I've been told. I apologize. Skip ahead a few minutes if you don't want to hear my rant. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for joining and watching my video. This crow shade channel is about yarn and yarn related goodness and crochet stuff. Um, I just have to tell you. I was at work last night and one of our regulars came in. Um, typically she's really, really nice. Um, she never wears a face mask though and we have signs on our doors that say face mask required. I'm so sorry, but it has been over a year that we have had to accommodate ourselves with face mask. And as annoying as it is, and it is not the normal, I don't care what any news source says, this is not normal. We had to do this in 1918 for the influenza virus, but I mean, it didn't last more than a year or two. And then we were back to not wearing face masks. So why are they calling this the norm? It's not norm. But anyway, this lady was in the store last night. She doesn't wear a face mask. She was sneezing her head off like crazy. She walked around the entire store. She went to use the ATM. She always uses the lottery machine. And she, she kind of walked towards the back. She was looking for my colleague to say hi to her. And she was sneezing the whole time. It's like, really, are you trying to get people sick, lady? So we have like this gallon jug underneath the counter of hand sanitizer gel. I mixed, up, I mixed it up with our liquid sanitizing solution we have in the back for cleaning. I shook the bottle up. I went around the whole entire store twice, just spraying the air trying to sanitize the air so other people coming in and of course myself and my colleague aren't breathing in that sickness. I'm like, really? I'm getting vaccinated tomorrow. I don't want to get sick before the vaccine, but I mean, it's possibilities. I mean, I'm sorry for my rant. Anyways, I finally got my last package of ice yarn. Finally, finally. This one was about 146 bucks. It's a little bit lighter than the one that was 172. Um, but I have a lot more fantastic yarn in here. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so there's a hole. There's always a hole in the bags. I can already see. I can already see. Baby twist. That's baby twist. Baby twist. Okay. Oh, I didn't get my information out of the bag, but it's not like I really care too much. Bam. Okay. Where's my rag? This packaging always gets so dirty. It gets here so fast within a week, right? But the package is just so dirty. It's like, I know what packages go through. I've worked in warehouses for many years, touching thousands and thousands and thousands of boxes and packages. I know what they go through. It's just amazing how fast the, these packages get dirty. So... So done when we don't have to wear face masks anymore. That time is coming, I hear it's just not coming fast enough. Okay. I got two more packages of the black bright rainbow baby twist. This is 69001. The other two packages I got are right here. I wanted to make sure I had enough because I'm thinking about making like a really large blanket, perhaps even two blankets. I've got four of the black. Yeah, four of the black and then four of the white, same bright rainbow shade. I'm thinking about doing a couple of black and white rainbows for some of my sisters. I'll do one for me. I can, I can make four small blankets for all four of us. I don't know yet. But this is just really, really fun yarn. Let me just take one out of the package in case you haven't seen it. This yarn is so fun those fun colors. I just gorge. So this is called Baby Twist. It is 15% wool, 85% acrylic, 50 gram ball, 70 meter. It is a number five bulky. So this will make some really, really nice quick blankets. I just wish they were in larger balls or larger skeins. 
so that we wouldn't have as many knots, which I'm okay with, but for blankets, you know, this yarn will work out pretty fast. I just wish they were bigger. Next one I got, I already got a couple of these, and I wanted to get a couple more. Here's the other one. Here we go. I just love this colorway. This is 67731. Oh, the Baby Twist, by the way, is, I believe, about five bucks a package. It's no more than six. I can't remember exactly, but it's no more than six dollars a package. And this one is a closet yarn. This is three dollars a package. These are multiple dark gray shades. This would be good for borders or neutral stripes in blankets to, to help make your bold colors stand out. This would be great with neon stripes in between. Oh my gosh, this it would get like a neon pink, neon green, neon orange, even like the um, the tropical pink. It's got like that tint of neon orange to it. That's a gorgeous color. And bright turquoise. I thought this would be pretty. This is a number four weight, a um, basic acrylic. Yeah, I'm trying to get a strand out. It's a number four. The yarn label's cut off. Black gray shades. I'm pretty sure it's 100% acrylic, but all the labels are cut off as far as describing the fiber content. It just says acrylic black. I see like a zero and then the percent sign. But this is really good yarn. I love this. I'll have to put that in the plastic bag. No, but I've broken that bag. It's okay. I got two packages of this. 67903. This was a closeout yarn. I believe it was um, about $3 a package, which is 37 cents a ball. I thought this would make a really, really great summer poncho. It's got some nylon in it, and it's got some iridescent shimmer. Get a couple of strands and show you there. I think this is a number three. I'm fixing to read you the information. This is. Sale Summer 67903, 70% acrylic, 30% 30 nylon. Let me show you a couple of the strands close up. I thought this would be gorgeous as a summer poncho. Because of the nylon, it's a very lightweight yarn. Does it say out what number it is? I think this is a number three to a number four. But I'm not really seeing on the label what it is. It doesn't say on the label, but I believe it's a number three. To me, it looks like a three. Or it could be a very tiny number four. So I would use I would use a five millimeter hook or a five point five if you want more opening spaces. So two packages of that. I got some more of this, just to have enough on hand, 67609. This is a closeout yarn, this is $3 a package. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. I love this yarn, this is so soft. White Accru's creams, they're just so good to have because you, you can use them with multiple projects. This says it's a number three, but this is a very chunky number three. Look at that. I call that a four. They call that a three? That's chunky. Like, I'm not fat, I'm chunky. <laughs> okay, it says it is, oh, this is a macaroon. Macaroon. This was, I believe, five dollars a package and it could have been closer to six but it's definitely not more than six dollars fifty percent acrylic forty percent polyamide which makes it so soft three percent elastin fifty gram ball one hundred meters they call it a number three four to six millimeter hook okay so I learned a tip from someone else's channel 
I can't remember who it was. Um, it might have been Blue Eyed Style. I've been watching her and her, she's great. Elastin is good to have in your fiber content because elastin kind of bounces back. It helps your garments hold its shape. Um, so it has like, let's see if I can show you. It has just a tiny bit of stretch. I don't know if you can see how it's bouncing back. Anyways, um, elastin is good because it'll help your garments hold its shape. They won't stretch out over time as much. So I got, I think, at least two packages of that. Yep. I got two packs of that. And again, that number was 67609. And then I've been wanting to try this. I've been eyeballing this yarn for a while and I've been hesitant to order it because there's so much of the yarn I wanted to buy and I've been spending a lot. This one is 61132. And this one is called Baby Design. And I love the burgundy lilac shades. And this is supposed to have some kind of floral design as you work it up. It's nice and soft. Baby Design. 100% baby acrylic. It feels so soft. It feels like the premium acrylic to me. It's just very soft. It's 100 gram skein, 360 meters. It's a number two. But this looks more like a three to me. This is a very chunky number two. To me, it looks like a three. Um, but this is gorgeous. Because of the striped pattern design that happens when you work it up, you um, I think it's best to work just like a straight, narrow piece, like a scarf or a Ruana poncho or something like that. Of course, for Ruana poncho, I would get two packs of this, which I did. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it yet, though. The yarn is gorgeous. And I wanted to get two packs because I probably will make a Ruana poncho with it. I'm not sure yet, though. Okay, then I got two more of these because I just love the shade so much. I love gray tones. 67734. This is another closeout yarn. Oh, this yarn, by the way, was like, I believe, about $7 a package. I could be off a little bit, so I apologize. I don't have the exact price, but. It's not more than $7 for this package. I could be off. If I'm, if I'm off, I apologize, but there's the number. Go to Ice Yarn's website. You can type in this five-digit code, and it will take you directly to this yarn and colorway. And this was a closeout yarn, $3 a package, gray shades. This is 100% acrylic, machine washable and dryable, and it is a number four worsted weight acrylic. I already said acrylic. And it's very soft, actually. It's nice. Cell, cell striping, 100% acrylic, gray shades, 110 meters. It's mm, really nice. So there's so much yarn, but in so many small balls, you're only going to get a couple of shades in each ball. And then as you go from ball to ball, the shades will, will vary in color. So I think they have really, really long color changes. I just wish these would be in larger skeins so that way the, the colors wouldn't be cut off. And you, you can color control with this or you can just pick a random ball and do it randomly. And I love doing things randomly. So it's, it's frustrating to me when I have to color control something unless it's an easy pattern like a C to C and I'm not doing a specific design. I could just color control a certain number of stripes and then cut it off at the end. I also ordered one of their tulip hooks. They have it in my second package here, which is nice so that it would not get lost. We'll poke out of the bag and get lost. I ordered a six millimeter hook because I just don't have enough sixes. You never have enough hooks, in my opinion. You can never have enough hooks that are from four millimeter to 10 millimeter. That's the most pop of the range, in my opinion. Four millimeter to 10. I don't necessarily want the packaging. I'm just going to toss it. But I will read about it first. 
Oh, this is just a basic tulip hook that they have. This is um, five bucks, I believe. Yeah, this yeah this this hook was five bucks, four ninety nine, and it is metal throughout the whole thing, and it has an ergonomic hook. It's a feels like feels like silicone, but hard plastic. And it I crochet like this. I hold it like a knife, and then it sticks out that much. So I would say this is a seven inch hook. Um, my tape measure, tape measure. Sometimes it's nice to know how long the hooks are because the, the way it feels in your hand. Sometimes you just want a specific size hook. Okay, I was wrong. It's five and a half. Well, let me see if I can hold this up and show you. Yeah, very carefully, very carefully. It's a five and a half inch hook, which I'm okay with. Seven inch might be too long. Six inch, I think, would be perfect. So that'll be okay. I'll have to, I'll have to work with it and try it. But I particularly like my hooks to stick out a, just a little bit longer. I'll try it out and see. I still have yarn in the package here. I've got two more to show you. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. This one is favorite two three seven four zero. This is emerald green. I wanted to see how close it was to, to uh, peacock or teal because it is such a gorgeous colorway. This is 100% acrylic, 210 meters, 100 gram skeins. It's a number four. There are some out there that call it a number three and it could blend in easily with number three acrylic yarns. It's a gorgeous color. I have some of this in the Elite Baby, which I showed you in one of my last videos. I don't have any Elite Baby here, but Elite Baby is 100% anti-peeling acrylic, so less peel as it washes over time. And it has a really, really nice sheen to it. It almost has like a sparkly sheen, no sparkles, but it's close to it. It's almost like a fairy dust sheen, in my opinion, and it's gorgeous. See, this has, has a sheen to it, but the effect on the Elite Baby has like a triple effect. It's nice. My All my Elite is, is in the other room. It's it's put away. So, unfortunately, I don't have it out to show you. I don't have any Elite Baby in here either. Oh, that's okay. Okay, I have one more. This one I wanted to try. I thought it would make a gorgeous, gorgeous sweater. This one is 60999 Mohair Pastel. I thought this colorway looked gorgeous. And I don't have a lot of things that are neutral. It's nice and soft. This is my first time opening Mohair Pastel in this particular line of yarn. It's nice. I imagine once worked up, this will be even softer, and once it's washed, nice. It's a number two fine, 500 meters, so you get quite a bit in this. The yarn label's cut off. Let me see if I can get another one. Well, that one's cut off too. Something mohair, 15% acrylic. Now it's 75% acrylic, 15% mohair, kid mohair. Apologize guys, these labels are cut off. I can't see how how the percentage on mohair is. Mohair pastel. 75, 85, 90, so it's probably 10% mohair, 15% wool and then 75% premium acrylic. Okay, 10% mohair, 15% wool, and 75% premium acrylic. So this is machine washable, and I would lay it flat to dry. I would do a delicate cycle though in cold water. I don't use hot water very often, very often at all. Heat actually sets in stains. Um, I would rather just wash in cold water because it is better about getting out stains 
and it's not as harsh on, on the fibers when they're washed. Um, let me give you a close up. I'm sorry, I'm not giving you a close up of this beautiful shade. Just sitting here rambling my mouth. I thought this would be a really, really gorgeous sweater. And I'll probably double it up since there are 500 meters in each skein. That's two strands. Let me see if I can separate them. They call this a number two. There we go. Sorry guys, I'm trying here. Eh, 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 okay. So one strand, two strands in the middle, there's another strand, so you can kind of see the thickness. And I'm, I'm gonna double this up and make a nice sweater. I think a thousand yards would be enough for a lacy v-neck or a v-stitch sweater. Mm -hmm. Or I might do a double v-neck uh, v-stitch sweater. It's really pretty. Okay, well that's all I got with that from that unbagging. Um, I had some more stuff to show you guys. Today's my birthday, by the way. Happy birthday to me. Today's April 6th. I got a card in the mail from my grandparents. This card looks so yummy. Look at that. That's banana. Banana split. Or banana pudding. Looks like it has chocolate pudding in it. It's so pretty. I thought the card was beautiful. It just says happy birthday with a little extra happy on top. And bananas are so yummy. I have some of those sparkling candles, which um, I'm fixing to go to my best friend's house this evening. Because her birthday is on April 8th, and her wife's birthday is today the same as mine, April 6th. So we have like a triple celebration for our birthdays, which is so much fun. I have these candles I'm going to bring. They have um, neon rainbow flame colors. You can get these at Walmart. Uh, 12 color flame candles burn with red, purple, green, blue, and orange flames. So these are really fun. I've only used a few of these, so I still have a whole bunch in here. I'll just bring them with me. Then I also have a few of these. These are fun. You can also get these from the grocery store. The baking aisle, these are sparkling candles. They sparkle when you light them. Kind of like those um, the sparkler sticks, you know, on the 4th of July. Yeah, they're like those. And they're kind of a little difficult to blow out, so you, won't, you don't want to use these for, like, little children. Um, but if they're, like, you know, an older child, they'll have a lot of fun trying to blow those out. Um... I was going to show you guys. Oh, that yarn that I got in the last video, it was part of the lot of the Harmony lot that I bought. They came in little balls like this. This yarn is really, really nice. It has a sheen to it. It's 100% acrylic. I can tell by feeling it. It's gorgeous. It might have some elastin in it because it has a bit of stretch and bounce to it. It doesn't have a tight twist though. That's the only thing. It might split when you work with it. It doesn't have a tight twist. I wound them up into cakes, which was a nightmare. This yarn was so slippery on my yarn ball winder. I'm not, I'm not joking. I had to wind this thing up 10 times. And they got tangled up a few times on me. It was a nightmare, but, and it still looks like a mess. Yeah, it's still a mess. Here's another one I caked up. But they're picked up just fine, and, and I'll work with them. Um, one of my other yarn videos, I showed you guys that I got three packages of this, which they still have some of this left. This is a closed out yarn. 67586. It is Cell Chanel. Let me put this out and show you. I have a dilemma with this yarn, and I need your help. Please, I need your help. We got it taped up all around. I'm sorry about the crinkling. This is a 50 gram ball, 50%. No, I'm sorry. It's not that, no, that tag is cut off. So is that one. What is up with their, with their labels? Microfiber and metallic lyrics. And none of them are giving me the numbers of the percentages. 200 meters. This is classified as a number one. Classified as a number one. 
but they're very scratchy. This is my dilemma. These are very, very scratchy. I don't know if you can hear how scratchy that is, but I know these would be really, really great for dish scrubbers, but they're really, it's really hard to work with. I tried to work up a sample. Here's a granny square. I stitched up in it, but it doesn't look good. I do not like the stitching at all. And here's a regular piece worked up in half double crochet. I don't like the way it looks worked up. It just looks like a child did it. I mean, it looks like I'm, I'm, I crochet for the first time and I have much more experience than that. I can make my work look great. I can make my, I've been told my stuff looks better than store bought. And, and that's how your stuff should be when you're experienced. You want your stuff to look gorgeous, handmade, but yet still gorgeous. Like it's better looking than what you can get from a store. Um, so his, my dilemma, what else could I make with this besides dish scrubbers? Sparkly dish scrubbers, yeah, great. Um, but what else could you make with it? I thought about making like a large handbag, like a shopping bag maybe. But I would certainly double up or triple up the yarn since I have so much of it. I just dropped that. I got three bags of it. One, two, and this third one I just opened up. So that's what I need your help with, please. What would you make out of this? Because it's way too much of an effort to try to return this. These were only $3 per bag. And with it being called Chanel, I thought it would be soft like microfiber. It's not. Wow, my hip got stuck to that. It's nowhere near being soft. Nowhere near at all. So help me please, what would you make with this? I just broke that bag. Yay, fun. I have more yarn and bags to put away. Um, I washed this even too. I put it, I soaked it in um, conditioner and, and softening solutions for 24 hours. And then I put one of those moisture bead packets in there for, it's been almost a week. And even though it smells so much better, it's still scratchy. It didn't soften it up hardly at all. No, it didn't soften up at all. It's still just as scratchy. So soaking this in softening agents and conditioner doesn't help. Doesn't help. So... That's all I got. That's all I got. Um, oh, there's Raven. Hi, Raven. You want to say hi? Hi, sweetheart. You want to say hi? You got good timing. Mommy was just about to say bye. Say hi, Raven. Hello. My uncle JR, when I was really little, he had cats. He always had cats in his house. And when people would leave his house and he would say bye to them, he would stand outside with his kitty and go, bye, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I have been getting some, some subscribers, and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you so much. Um, please share this video with your yarn friends and other people in the crochet community. I am not on YouTube to promote myself. Um, there will be times to where I will rarely post a video but I will always be sharing what I'm doing with my yarn and projects I'm making and every single package of yarn I get in the mail I will be unboxing and sharing with you guys because I love it so much I have learned so much from other people's videos here on YouTube my goal is to just share what I've gotten and to give back so please share this with everyone in your yarn communities please let everyone know my tips and tricks because I have so much stuff up my sleeve and lots of great projects. I am another fiber creator and I design my own stuff all the time. Um, I've got about 30 projects listed in my planning um, yarn notebook that I have. Um, I'm a slow crocheter because I have a full-time job and I have family stuff on the side, um, obviously. So sometimes I don't get projects knocked out soon enough. Um, so I'm not on here to promote myself. I'm on here to promote yarn. I'm on here to promote other yarn creators that have wonderful tutorials and great ideas too. Um, I'm not very good at tutorials, so I may not be posting stuff like that. 
but there are projects I will be recommending um, from other YouTube and YouTube artists and fiber creators. So um, check out Bag a Day Crochet, check out uh, Creative Grandma, The Secret Yarnery, um, The Crochet Crotcheter. There are so many YouTube crochet channels. There are literally probably 300 or more. There have been a few videos where Krista from The Secret Yarnery, she actually had like a list of all the channels and she'll go through them quickly. Um, there, was a, there was about 300 she listed off. Like I didn't, I had no idea there's so many. So anything you want to make, do a search in YouTube, crochet, and then the name of the particular project, and then you'll have dozens pop up. That's how I learned everything, just by searching what I was in the mood for, and then want, and then whenever I wanted to change a stitch or learn a new stitch, I go to Creative Grandma. Creative Grandma is amazing, and she's such a sweet lady. Um, while I'm here talking about Creative Grandma. She had surgery yesterday. Um, I'm not going to go into detail. That's her business, and she does mention it in one of her last videos, but I just wanted to throw out my prayers. Any of you who know Creative Grandma, um, please go out and um, please go pray for her if you haven't already. If you don't know who Creative Grandma is, her name is Glenda. She lives in Pennsylvania, I believe. So prayers for her, please, on her um, speedy recovery. Um, I know she's probably going to be up in the hospital for two or three days because of the surgery she had to undergo. So, um, prayers for her and her family. And, um, I told her she needs to rest and she needs to do what she needs to do. Um, there are so many people on, on online supporting her. So we will all be here when she's ready to um, post another video. So praise for you, Glenda. Um, we love you again. My name is Sarah and you saw Miss Raven earlier. Um, this channel is named after Raven. Um, because she is my, she is my main inspiration in life and the yarn is the rest of it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize for rambling. If you have any questions or any comments down, um, just leave comments down below and I will be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you again. Y'all have a great day.